Well, I actually met Gene through his mother, and she worked in the mill where I worked at. And I had a 494, and I was having problems with it. His stick shift, you know, upon the column, they'd hang up. Well, I get had to get out and undo it. Well, I come over here. She told me to come over here and see him. I come over here, and he said the easiest way to do it, put a floor shift in it. Gene Cromer put me a her shifter in it, and that solved my problems. I put a, a lot of her shifters in. Oh, God. It's Sparkomatic shifters. So, yeah. Yep. Put a lot of those in. Mm. I just did regular automotive work, you know, back then. Anything to make most of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I like to run a four because he's always on a dog. <laughs> Made a lot of people mad when he had a 427 in a Chevrolet. <laughs> didn't didn't run that really long. They didn't run I broke the... so many parts on that thing. Oh, Lord. Oh, I broke rear, rear ends. ends. Drive just, shaves. Drive shaves. Mm. He can jerk out a pinion and drop it on the ground he's by the snap of your finger just like that. Yeah, and well, the reason I built the Chevrolet, I had the Willis at that time, but I, I worked on it like I was so sick of working on it. I pushed it outside. He stayed outside a year. Yeah. But I, I built that, that Chevrolet and took the engine and put in the Chevrolet. And then I sold I sold a 55 later and I brought the Willis back in and finished it. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, if we'd had the cameras back then, like they are now, it'd been great. Cause I would had one heck of a good thing with Julie when Gene sold the '55. His daughter was hanging on the back up, wouldn't let the guy leave with it. Yeah, that was Robin. <laughs> There's Robin. Hang on, no, oh, that's my car. You can't get it. <laughs> oh Lord. Mm. That was some good times. Some yeah. Good. My daughter, they used to, they used to go with me some. The oldest daughter, she went about all the time with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Robin, say we used to go. Julie'd sit, had bucket seats in the ranchero. We'd put a blanket right there, and Julie sit, lay sit there. Robin sit in my lap, and that's how we'd go to races, and we'd play tic tac toe going down the road. And everything we 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 and I sort of a babysitter and pit crew I guess because <laughs> uh, made good. sure the girls was all right. Well, really, well, where I messed up was not having a good helper when I was running this shop. You know, I wouldn't let him do nothing. See, and I, he particular, I would <laughs> should have had somebody. Did. Somebody kept going, kept it going, you know. Yeah. You got a lot of equipment just sitting in it. Oh, but it was worth something at one time, see, even now. Everything computerized. Uh, one time we running the Willis with the run what you brung. That's what it used to be. Run what you brung, you can do anything you want to. Well, I put uh, nitro in the, in the Willis. And it was at Calhoun, Georgia, and I <laughs> I lowered my front end. It was high, you know. So I took some lease on my front front spring. <laughs> well, that was the wrong thing, see. <laughs> I run at Calhoun, Georgia, and I knew it wasn't handling, but I went ahead and ran it. And just as I got to the lights, it switched ends. <laughs> and I went through the lights backwards, Flat followed all four tires, you know, but it, it kept going straight backwards, so I stopped it. And then it stopped kind of on the side of the, of the uh, they just scraped the side of the track and it just kind of tipped in a second, but it's, it didn't check, it didn't choke down. So I just put it in the low and went back and put it on the trailer. <laughs> but that was, uh, about the only time I really got in trouble. Now I've stood stood them up a few times and off the side of the track, and, and that Mustang I stood it up pretty high a couple of times. And 
But oh, if we'd had a camera back a long time ago when he he'd do burnouts out the door. The yard was gravel, dirt. Well, he'd do a burnt, he'd burnt, check, you know, messing with it. He'd take and do burnouts, and he'd stand it up in the shop, and I'd shut my eyes. I was scared he was gonna hit that blank. The hood was gonna catch the door. That's the only place I had to do it. Yep. And there wasn't no worm just to try out except the track. That's the track, you know. And it takes work and dedication to do it. That's if you're right. going If you're gonna win, you gotta go to win. Just right. You gotta work at it, and that's gotta be your number one thing. Well, it's hard just to jump in and and run with these guys and do something unless you you got to prepare. And there's so much stuff you can buy now. So you, back then you couldn't buy nothing. I mean, it was what you could make and make do with and scrap iron, scrap junk, and all this, you know, junkyards. Now there ain't no junkyards really that you can go in and look. But back then that's the way it was. Shoot.